Today we are watching Comey Can't Communicate Season 2 Episode 4. In the last episode, going over the kind of the main things that happened, um, we had part of the episode was, well, there's more things that happened in the episode, but I'm just saying. Part of the episode was uh, kind of Makoto, and honestly, I'm just loving the Makoto moments. Um, he's really cool. And they're just really funny moments. Everybody just kind of gets the wrong idea about each other. It's really funny. Komi had the wrong idea about them. Tadano kind of had the wrong idea, but he's also really good at reading people. So he ended up resolving the issue, as per always, Chadno. Um, and then Makoto had a, the, the wrong like idea as well, which seems to be kind of, of a running theme for his character, which is still funny. So I like it. Um, and then the kind of last part of the episode, which was uh, between Komi and Tadano, uh, sharing potatoes together. God, those those shits look hella good. They're probably tasty as hell. Like sweet potatoes. Mm. Um, kind of in the, in the cold, cold night and Komi was running along the street trying to get the guy to stop because you, every time he did, she was just like, uh, 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 you know. Um, yeah, and then they ended up just saying like, yeah, we're going to spend together time together over winter break, which was awesome. Uh, and you love to see it. But yeah. Overall, a very good episode. I'm um, definitely looking forward to this one. So, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Does anybody ever have special plans for Christmas Eve? Apart from, like, spending time with family? Let's have a Christmas party at your house on the 24th, please. Back. What? Najimi, bro. They want to have a party at your house and you have to buy them gifts? What? No, legit. Like, neither do I. I. I get that. I'm so bad at buying gifts. Shosuke. Oh my god, we're getting brother episode? Pog? Did, they, did these siblings really just stare at each other? And he knew- yeah. Forced to accompany her. LOL. <laughs> this is so cute. I get- I feel that brother's pain. Just choose this. One kilogram of rice cakes. Yeah. Decorative candles. Sure, I guess, yeah. Who are you buying for here? Your friends or your family? <laughs> you know, that would be actually quite a funny gift. An umbrella, that's cute, yeah. A nice scarf, that's a good idea too. Do you even know who you're buying for? Do you have to buy for all your friends with 20,000 yen? Isn't that like 20 British pounds? I don't know. Who's that going to be for? Najimi? Tadano? Who's it for? He's like, holy shit, my sister's in love with someone. What happened? Pay at the cashier. Oh no, he doesn't like doing stuff either. <laughs> she waited for them outside. That's so cute. Jesus Christ, you brought the whole class. Yeah. You probably bought like one or two gifts. Wait. What what is happening here? <laughs> Giant cat? Oh my god, she's gonna love that. Imagine inviting people over for your own surprise party. That's hilarious. She's ecstatic. Of course she's happy. Go on, Tadano. Say something. Anything. What a great answer. Well done, Tadano. <laughs> you could have said something a little better, but sure. Greed and intrigue. Oh god, we're gonna have people going into Komi's room. Oh, okay, that's a lot more that's a lot more innocent. Cool. Greedy people. Oh god. Yeah, they're not gonna choose a seat until Komi sits down. I feel like she'll sit on the floor. She seems like the type to sit on the floor. Fucking Tadano is like, who are these people and why did I invite them? <laughs> She's gone. Her soul has left her body. Ah, now you guys have got to figure it out. This is insane, man. These guys are ridiculous. Of all the people to get to sit next to her. She's going to sit next to Tadno, yeah? Yeah, of course. Let's go. 
I like how Tadno hasn't reacted to Najimi sitting on him at all. You're dead. You are dead. You are getting kidnapped again. This must be insane for her mom to see. There's like 20 people in her house when Komi struggled to make like one friend. Oh, summer ranking. Isn't this more for like adult parties or parties where you'd be more open to doing things? Jesus. Yeah, she actually asked uh, ask to... Oh, God. Please, let somebody else speak. God, she annoys me. <laughs> Unasai. Oh, Komi's number four. Wow. It's like that was made for Komi. <laughs> Who's number seven? Oh. Very ordinary. Wow. Is it her? Oh, it's her. It was upside down. <laughs> this is going to take 10 years. Yeah, and what did she decide on? Yeah, she'll challenge Komi. <clears throat> oh, God, okay. Admit defeat? Wow. This guy's got some weird fetishes. <laughs> My god. I wonder who's gonna have the funniest. Bruh, is this some Code Gear shit? Bruh. <laughs> it's, it's like refre reflected, isn't it? Yeah, reflected. I don't know, it's number six. <laughs> Oh, Komi's mom's playing? Yeah! <laughs> Let's go, just like an adult. Wait, number four is Komi. Wait, no. Tadano's number four? Oh, they change sticks every time. Well, it is what it is, bro. Hey, good job. <laughs> He's embarrassed. <laughs> That's so funny. That was probably his first kiss. Who's the king? Is it Komi? Komi's the king. Has she made an order? It'd be like, come back again next year or something. Please, I'll cry. Please get along from now on. Oh, my heart. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Komi would be such an easy friend to be friends with, because, like, you just buy her something cat-related, she loves you. I like how they put it, like, playing on the TV. That's that's kind of a funny way to show a flashback. Yeah. Oh, is this pre the party? Najimi! <laughs> oh, so we get to see how they went along and picked the cat, then. She's already here. Wow. The present death game, yeah. <laughs> Up to 5,000 yen? That's crazy. So how did everybody settle on one big gift then? Nobody's got anything in the baskets. And they, did they... I'm, I'm guessing none of them had any idea. This girl is something. Of course. <laughs> What a horrible present. An iTunes gift card. Okay. How is that not a present for a girl? What the fuck? Pickled plums. Interesting. Protein powder. <laughs> Bro, Kermi's gonna get jacked. Vanilla ice cream. Jesus, dude. Did they all buy these? Like... Oil timer? What the hell's that? People who are unable to choose one gift. <laughs> oh, the side characters. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! 
Did Tadano pick the car? Yeah, I knew it. 8,000 yen. Crazy. Yeah, for real, that's a lot of money. The split between, like, what, 10 of you? That's like 8,000 yen. Oh, no, wait, 800 yen. Yeah, but it's a good idea. Of course, it's Tadano bringing everybody together. Jesus Christ! She is fucked up. Then who was the gift Komi got? For someone for it. Must have been for Tadano, right? Yeah, for real. She's just surprised at, like, so many people showing up. I was hoping Tadano would stay behind. Oh, did she text them all that fast? Wait, I need to read this. I'm more grateful than ever before. This is Komi Shoko. You thought it was my birthday. I thank you very much for celebrating my birthday together with a Christmas party. You might think my reaction was normal, but I can't explain my attitude. <laughs> Let me say thank you here. She's so cute. I like she sent that as soon as she left. Sorry, who the fuck is that redhead girl? I don't know who that is. Oh. So, again, who was the scar for? They all saved the mail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are we getting lore? Is this for home use? It's a scarf, isn't it? What the fuck? Oh, he spoke! Whoa! <laughs> Why would she ask, is it for home use? Was it a... Was it a jumper? Not a scarf? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was a scarf, right? Who was it for? I don't know. Anyway, very good episode. Like, Comey's born on Christmas. That's kind of a crazy day to be born. Um, like, two lots of gifts. I'd rather have a birthday and, like, my birthday's in June, which is, like, halfway through the year, which is great. Two lots of presents. Um, but, yeah, uh, overall a very good episode. Very, very sweet, as per usual. Kind of, we had one main theme. I just realized Makoto wasn't invited. That's fucking rude. Why wasn't Makoto invited to this? I'm not having that. This, this episode's cancelled. I don't want to watch it anymore. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, very good episode. Like, really, really cute. It kind of focused on one major thing throughout the episode, which was sweet. Um, I like these type of episodes. I love, like, obviously where there's multiple plots within an episode, but these episodes just seem very filled out and nice. Um, yeah, hopefully find out next episode, unless it's just a plot point that will never be touched on again, uh, who that exactly her gift was for. Um, I have no idea, but we'll see. Yeah, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. As always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.